Back with Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, the 1920 Germany campaign. Uh, last episode, we had uh, a rather uh, bloodthirsty battle in which every ship sank. Friendly and, well, not the transports. Every warship sank, including uh, both uh, enemy and friendly. Uh, so that was a bit of a bloodletting. And... As we came out of that battle, I went to build some replacement light cruisers, and it turns out that this uh, patch, this update that uh, just dropped, uh, either, I guess it must have been earlier today, or late uh, yesterday, depending on where you are in the world. Anyway, it uh, affected, you know, there was some stuff in there about uh, reworking armor's effect on weight and uh, improvements to the ship auto design. Uh, in any case, turns out that most of our designs are, inadequate, or are no longer valid. Uh, they were all overweight. And so had to go back and, and make uh, copies of those designs and then tweak them as necessary to bring them back into legality. And so there is a new uh, battleship class, a new battlecruiser class, a new heavy cruiser, and a new light cruiser. And uh, I just went ahead and made all four of them, of the ships that we were actively using. Uh, the one interesting thing is... All I had to do was copy and, and tweak for three of the ship classes. For battleships, it was it was different in that since the patch, this campaign's tech seems to have been re-randomized. Because I have there are holes and techs which we had in the previous game, which we no longer have now. So, for example, uh, all of these ships, including the old legacy Braunschweig that uh, the, the auto generator gave us at the beginning of the campaign, all of these were built, well, not this one, all four of these were built on the Dreadnought 3 hull, which I no longer have as of today in this campaign. <laughs> I had it before because I we built all these designs including the starter um, but no but not anymore so uh, I built from the ground up from scratch this Hessen battleship design in which basically I just tried to replicate Nisenau as best that I could on a Dreadnought 1 hull instead of a Dreadnought 3. And uh, so that's that. So essentially Hessen is our only battleship, only available battleship design now. Uh, I would have liked to, I kind of liked the look of this 5 turret, uh, how is that said in German? Vorth? Verth? Um, it is not to be. If we need any more battleships, they'll be Hessens. And in fact, I, anyway, I think I did build a couple Hessens. <laughs> uh, threw in some, some light cruisers. They're a year away, but at least they're coming uh, in response to the two light cruisers that we lost uh, in the last episode. And what the heck, I got a couple more battleships coming. I do not know what the effect will be on these building battleships, okay? Like, Weissenberg will be ready in three months. It's a nice and now design. So illegal. I assume it's still going to let Weissenberg come into the fleet. One hopes. And then same thing with this uh, Prince Idol Friedrich. Okay, enough of that. It's June 1923. Let's press on into July.
Okay, uh, this is not a... I'm not digging this battle. I'm just not. I mean, the matchups appear okay. I'm pretty confident that our heavy cruiser is the better of their heavy cruiser. Star is obviously much more thin-skinned, but has significantly bigger guns, but less act. I guess it's just my gut. This battle smells like trouble. I'm going to withdraw if it lets me. It doesn't. Well, in we go. This is uh, another battle just right off Helgoland. Something just kind of smells... A snake bit about this setup. Okay, they're over this way. I've already been spotted. That's Anson right there. in trouble. Long range torpedo shot from uh, Kaiser and Augusta. I don't think it's going to sink him. The question is how many of those compartments are completely damaged and uh, can be dewatered and propulsion restored. But it looks like most of them.
Still hasn't fired any torpedoes. That destroyer has got some permanent uh, light now, but some permanent propulsion damage, so she's slow in re entering the battle. Urchin not to really. Yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of this destroyer before she becomes a torpedo problem. Especially where the battle cruiser is concerned. percent sink before you launch torpedoes Seeing some doing anyway. Oh, okay. So she hasn't taken any damage for a while. <clears throat> Therefore, we can assume that those flooded compartments are permanently flooded, and that that engine damage is not going to be fixed either. done without having fired any torpedoes, so there is no torpedo threat remaining. I believe it is time then to... Okay, well, I was wrong. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about the matchup for some reason. I can't articulate why, and clearly I was a worry wart for no reason. don't really want Kaiser and Augusta firing any more 9 inch. Need them later. I'm mainly wanting to get up here uh, 
to throw a torpedo spread at Anson. I mean, both of these capital ships, ours and theirs, are uh, autogen ships. Ours is much, much heavier caliber, but I mean, no one's hitting much. <laughs> However, when uh, when Anson does get a hit, Star is very lightly armored, six-inch belt, 1.4 forward, just 0.4 aft. Which, oh by the way, might even further. Uh, affect your stability because the uh, you know the the auto the designs the weights the effects of the weights have changed and that's true even of our incoming ships in our new ships like the uh, Prince Heinrich cruisers they may not be perfectly forward and aft weight offset now I'm sure they're close enough. I'm not going to go back and like rebuild the entire fleet within the campaign. Penetration chance is climbing. Don't, should, probably shouldn't give a flat shot with the light armor, but attention has shifted to Kaiser and Augusta in any case. It was kind of trying to get in here to do a torpedo spread. Needed. Ensign sinks. Battleship, heavy cruiser, destroyer. All sunk. 3,500 victory points total. That turned into a pretty good battle. Once more, it, it appears that the British uh, have contacted the German government looking for a peace treaty. They're asking our opinion, and the Imperial German Navy says no, fight to the end. And let's find, let's just advance one turn and find out if, uh, if our government agrees. Oh wait, did not see this. They've laid down a lot of new ships. This is interesting. This scrolled off, created, so they have created uh, plans for a new design here. We don't know what kind. But they've laid down Birmingham of the Liverpool class. That's the old cruiser that they started with. Uh, Spartan of the Liverpool class. And also, new CL, uh, Serpent, which is a new class. Uh, if and when this ever enters the game, it'll be our first look at that. But in the same turn, they are 
starting construction of ships of both old and new classes. I wonder if this little spurt of activity has, you know, if the AI was also prompted to have to do things <laughs> with its uh, designs rather than because of uh, tech progress. Let's look in August and see if the war continues or not. It does not. Peace signed. We recommended uh, continuing the war. Apparently the Kaiser and the Chancellor did not agree. I think everyone knows this part doesn't work. You know, we can't get ships, and the campaign's over. You know, if we did get ships, so what? It's a minor victory, and uh, we're going to wind up getting $230 million. Uh, 44 months, which is what? About, uh, yeah, about three and a half years. Our prestige actually did get pretty much up in the positive, uh, 29.4 at the war's end. End reason, low victory points, as it always is. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure it's always low VP, but that's certainly the most common. Minor victory. I've yeah, I've never seen any other kind. Total ships built, and this includes the starter fleet. Um, Seven battleships, three battle cruisers, eleven of each cruiser type. It seems low. Seems like I built more than that. Uh, well, this is completed. This does not include anything that was started, but not completed yet. And we and we lost uh, five heavy cruisers and five light cruisers through the course of that campaign 10 ships total we lost 121,000 tons of warship they lost 377,000 tons of warship the vast vast majority of that in the second half of the war I think during 1920 1921 and there was several points we were behind and at no point I think were we ever better than just kind of equal tonnage, if that. But yeah, it wound up, the enemy, uh, the Brits eventually lost more transports than we did across the, when these numbers are pretty low for what, a three and a half uh, year campaign? Which is longer than typical in these in this game. But j just the trajectory of that war uh, and how tight things got with the blockade and the budget and everything uh, in kind of in the second half of 1921. Uh, you know, compared to most of the campaigns I've fought in this game, I, I kind of feel a little sense of accomplishment there. That that felt like it got pretty close to to a loss <laughs> or uh, well anyway campaign over thank you very much uh, for watching I, I you know I I had been thinking that because you know I showed a British I showed a German we did 1910 20 30 kind of set myself these these little uh, rules in the last couple campaign and I kind of felt like that this last one was the most uh, kind of the most I could get the game to show in its current state and I didn't really plan on doing another campaign after this because it just would have felt like a retread but then today with the patch looks like there is a reason to maybe do another one I'll probably do a 1940 campaign now um uh, and I'll see you for that.
Thanks for watching.